Can you believe it? You're not going to believe it. It is 80 degrees in Dallas, Texas on February 4th. They call me Cruise Man. I've put more than 150,000 miles on Honda Goldwings riding all over this amazing country. Thousands of Goldwing owners have used my videos to guide them when working on their own bikes or considering which aftermarket products to purchase. I love riding and wrenching. These are my motovlogs. Hello YouTube. This is Cruise Man out on the 2018 Honda Goldwing out for a beautiful afternoon ride. You're not going to believe it. Can you believe it? You're not going to believe it. It is 80 degrees in Dallas, Texas on February 4th. Can you believe it? So that means you got to get out and ride. No two ways about it. When you got a beautiful day like this, you just got to get out and ride. Now it's um, it's middle of the afternoon. I'm probably going to hit some traffic here before too long, but you know that's just the way it is. It doesn't matter. It's such a nice day. It's not even that windy today. I got so many things to tell you about stuff that's going on at Cruise Man's Garage. It's just very exciting. And I've been staying busy. We got two new videos that we added to our 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing maintenance video series on demand. We put out a video on how to program the Honda Smart Key for those of you that, like me, if you got a 2018 Goldwing, you only got one Smart Key with it. So uh, if you want a backup, you've got to buy an extra Smart Key. And I bought mine from Cycle Max, got a pretty good deal. I think it was about 110 bucks, something like that. And they, uh, in fact, Gary sent me an email today. He said he's been getting a lot of uh, <laughs> Honda Smart Key sales. I'm wondering if it's not because of we put out this video about 10 days ago. But anyway, you've got to program that thing. You know, you don't just get a smart key and it automatically recognizes your motorcycle. So we show you the steps you have to go through. And there's also a little tool that you have to have. A little jumper tool and uh, we show you how to use that and do the whole thing or I say I say we I'm using the royal we it's actually me I'm actually showing you how to program it and just I guess uh, really not too long ago I put out a video on how to adjust the parking brake on the 2018 plus and that was uh, that's also part of our 2018 maintenance series and just today we released another a third new video and that talks about how to disassemble this center panel switch because if you need to install a home link button or a fog light button you're going to have to take this apart now here's a little tip that we just thought about yesterday. I was actually working with uh, Don Smith, a friend of mine. I was helping him do some stuff on his 2018 Goldwing. If you buy a new Goldwing and you're going to have the dealer install Homelink, but you haven't purchased the fog lights, here's a tip. While your dealer is doing the installation on your fog lights, go ahead and buy the Honda installation kit for the fog lights which will cost you about hundred and twenty five dollars and have him install that switch for the fog lights at the same time that they install the home link buttons because it's gonna save you probably another two or three hundred dollars in labor charges if you have them do the whole thing at one time you can go ahead and install the button without buying the fog lights then if you want to buy Rivco or SoCal Moto Gear or some other brand 
of uh, fog lights that will work with this Honda harness and Honda switch, you're set. Now, of course, the same would be true if you're going to do the job yourself. If you're going to install the home link buttons, go ahead and buy the fog light switch on the installation kit, which is where you get the switch, the button. It comes in that fog light installation kit, and that's the only way to get that button, by the way. Unless you buy another set of fog lights that includes the button. So go ahead and do that job all at the same time. There's no reason to tear it, because you've got to take all the top shelter off. You've got to take off the middle cowls. You've got to remove this center panel switch. And then you've got to disassemble the center panel switch. Well, the video we just added today shows you how to disassemble this center panel switch properly. Because if you look in the Honda service manual, it shows you an exploded view of this center panel switch, but it doesn't tell you how to remove the parts. And if you don't remove the parts a certain way, you can very easily break something. So, that's why I say if you don't have the 2018 plus Honda Goldwing maintenance video set, uh, you might want to consider it. We'll put the web address down there for you to check it out now I'm gonna take just a second here to do a little plug if you like these videos you like my motor vlogs you like my other videos please take a second to click that little subscribe button down below and if you click on that little bell icon YouTube will notify you when I put out new videos what a beautiful day it is today we appreciate all our subscribers. We appreciate all your comments, all your little thumbs up and likes. We don't like the thumbs down. I've noticed we always get two or three thumbs down on every video for some reason. It must be the exact same people coming in on every video and hitting the thumbs down. I don't know what's up with that. But I guess you can't, you know, nothing's perfect. So I mentioned Don Smith, uh, we were doing a little work on his bike yesterday. I'm doing a little trade out for him. I told him I'd help him uh, do some installation. We installed the uh, fog light button on his bike yesterday. So we had to tear apart his red 2018 Goldwing and had to, uh, what our plan is, is to install the Rivco lights along with the Honda harness and Honda switch. And once we get all that working, I'm going to do a little video to tell you how to do it. But don't have the video finished, don't have all the pictures ready, so... That's something you can look forward to because a lot of you have asked me how do we use the Rivco fog lights with the Honda switch. Now hopefully we'll be able to give you that information soon. So I want to know down in the comments which fog lights you guys have right now. I also put out a video last week on a fog light comparison. I'm not sure if you guys have already seen it but it's been a pretty popular video where I show the differences between the Rivco, the Honda OEM fog lights and the SoCal Moto Gear lights. Actually, I call them SoCal Moto Gear. It's actually Pathfinder LED, but they're sold by SoCal Moto Gear. So we did a, um, I did a little comparison video where I show the features of all three of those. Hopefully will help you make a better decision on which set's best for you. Now there's other fog lights out there for the 2018-2019 Goldwing, but I haven't tested all of them. And none of the other companies have reached out to me. All three of these companies uh, sponsored videos for me to do installations for them, so I had a chance to use all of them and try them out. And uh, I always, I think I even mentioned it at the very first of that video, just in the spirit of full disclosure, that uh, SoCal Moto Gear and Rivco and CycleMax sponsored those videos for me to install and test out their lights for them and review them. 
So like with anything on YouTube or on the internet, including myself, any opinions you read or hear or see uh, from a reviewer like myself, you have to take with a grain of salt. And I suggest reading a lot of reviews and what a lot of people have to say and don't just take one person's advice, you know. You know, my background is reviewing cruise ships on cruisereport.com. We've been doing that for 15, 16, no oh man, gosh, I guess we're going on 20 years now, come to think of it. And it's a big, uh, it's a big issue in the cruise industry because the cruise lines provide us with the cruise. We don't pay for all these cruises. I can't, I can't pay for six or seven cruises a year. So obviously the cruise lines provide the cruise for media or journalists to come on board. And of course they want you to write glowing reports of their cruise ships. And, um, you know, it's always a battle when we have something that we have to point out in one of our reviews. We do quite in-depth reviews, and we will point out any negatives or any problems we encountered. We're fair about it. We give the cruise line an opportunity to respond. But if we encounter an issue that we feel like is more than just a one-off problem, we'll talk about it. You know, we'll mention it. And we've had several cruise lines that never invited us back because of that. They only want the glowing puff piece about how wonderful their cruise line is. And as a journalist, especially when you have a website with followers or subscribers, you're always battling between this uh, you've got to maintain credibility with your audience. You can't just always say glowing things if things aren't always glowing. And besides, if you point out things that are issues, to me it makes the review more believable. If you only say good things, people tend to wonder, you know, is this real? Or is it accurate? So we always try to be as accurate as possible. But we always try to be fair. And um, we've had a couple of, like I said, we've had some cruise lines that have uh, never invited us back because of that. And so no big, no big deal. There's plenty of cruise lines. There's plenty of aftermarket Goldwing products out there. <laughs> if, we, if we have a problem with a product for the Goldwing, uh, which it really honestly has never happened that I can remember. I don't, well, I have one time. I had a, a belly pan that I reviewed, and uh, there were some issues with that product. This was on the older model Goldwing, and there were some issues, and I pointed out those issues in the video. And, uh, you know, it wasn't that the product was completely bad. It's just that, uh, as I recall, he was using sheet metal screws to hold the front part of the belly pan on rather than captive uh, d -Zeus type fasteners. And my concern was if one of those metal sheet metal screws worked its way out while well, you're on a highway, theoretically it could fall down and you pick it up in your back tire and you got a flat. That's why uh, the Tulsa belly pan and some others use these captive fasteners that can't fall out. Anyway, that's another story. I tend to ramble sometimes, forgive me. So anyway, we got the fog light comparison video out there. Now I told you we've been real busy the last couple of weeks since I did my last moto vlog. A week or 10 days, I've been pretty busy. In addition to all these new videos I've talked about, I also launched a brand new series of videos called Cruise Man's Cool Tools. And I put out my first episode of Cruise Man's Cool Tools this last week, where I talk about the new multifunction LED work light from Pathfinder LED. When uh, Pathfinder LED sent me these uh, fog lights, which I'm using right now, 
they included one of these little work lights in the box and asked me to take a look at it and see what I thought. I've been looking for something to do uh, an episode of Cruise Man's Cool Tools and I thought, boy, this would be a great first episode. I'm just going to talk about this cool little work light. And I'm going to be coming out with more episodes of Cruise Man's Cool Tools. And if you've got some cool tools you'd like me to review or talk about, hey, put it down in the comments. I'll follow up on it and see if I can work it in. I've already got about nine or ten different videos I've got scheduled right now in the Cool Tools series. So I'm hoping that's going to be a popular new series. A lot, Like I said, lots of stuff going on at Cruise Man's Garage. Really appreciate you guys joining us today, taking the time to watch and uh, visit and put your comments in. And that's all for now on Cruise Man's Motovlogs.